What I'd like to say, Bill, is uh, thank you for everything you've done uh, for the mission. I know that you've been a part of this mission for over a decade, and I just want to say thank you. Thank you for your leadership and your guidance. Thank you for being a strong Christian man. On a personal note, I want to say thank you as well for being a friend of mine. Um, I know that you're my boss, and you'll always be my boss, but you've meant a lot to me and my personal growth and my relationship with the Lord, especially these last four years. I've got to know you really well, uh, just like you've got to know me well, and, and I cherish the, that time that I've had with you, and I'll never forget it. The wisdom that you bestowed upon me, um, the guidance that you've given me is just second to none, and I so appreciate what you've done. And, and thank you for also being a, a friend to my wife. Um, and making sure that I was okay. So you asked Carolyn um, how it was doing, just to make sure if I was saying the right thing to you. So uh, I can thank you for everything. You are very special to me and will always be special to me. I know that you're going to do wonderful things um, when you move from here. And this is not the end of your journey with Christ. It's simply the beginning. I know that you're going to enjoy your beautiful grandchild and, and it's just going to be a wonderful thing. And I'm going to miss you. So I'm going to also miss Mrs. West as well. Uh, thank you for, for supporting Bill to help us at the mission be so awesome. Uh, we're going to miss you so, so much here in Reno and Northern Nevada. And I know that I'm personally going to miss you at the mission. Thank you so much. And I love you. Hey, Bill, Rebecca here with Farmily. Thank you so much for your partnership over the last four or five years. It was, um, Really, really a true blessing when Mike came here with me from the Boys and Girls Club and we started thinking about turning this into a garden. He was like, let's call Bill. And from that moment, you have been able to say so many yeses to make this project happen. And over last year, we served over 4,000 kids through our garden education program and had around 1,700 pounds of produce, which the majority of that 1,400 pounds came out of this garden that went and got donated into the community. So thank you for always being such an amazing partner. I was sad when I heard that you were retiring um, because it, it has been so nice to work with you. And I am so glad that you'll get this time in your life to move slower or move faster, whatever you wanna do and have just every day be yours completely. And thank you so much for your ministry over all the years that you have served God. It is, um, we all deserve to have someone like you in our life giving us guidance. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, hey, Bill, it looks like you've come to the end of your time here at the bridge. And I can't thank you enough for all your encouragement and mentorship over these years. It's been a heck of a ride these past 15, almost 16 years. And I'm so grateful for you leading us through it. Over the years, you and I have laughed together, cried together, counseled together, served together, led together, ministered together, ate together, and even played golf together. You have been there through some of the toughest times in my life. And at the very worst of it, you were there to remind me that God wasn't done with me yet. You've challenged me, you've encouraged me, you've made me into the Christ follower that I am today. I remember when I interrupted you one early spring afternoon, you were in your office studying and I came banging at the door. And when you opened it, I said, Bill, I think God is calling me to join the staff here at the bridge. And you said, that's great, but I don't have any job openings right now, so come back later. <laughs> and here we are almost four years later, and it's been an honor working under your leadership. I have learned so much about how to care for and love and help and counsel and guide and lead other people in their walk with Jesus, and I owe that to you. It's not easy to minister in the local church, but you, my friend, were faithful in that calling, and I want you to know it's made a difference. This church and so many people in the Truckee Meadows are better because of your dedication and obedience to the Lord. Thank you for your consistency and a desire to finish well. Remember, God is not done with you yet. Hi, Bill and Kim. We know you're about to start a new journey in life, and that's pretty cool for the state of Montana, but it's not so cool for us here in Reno. Anyway, as you think about that next chapter, we just wanted to take a moment to say goodbye and to also say thank you for all the things that you've done in our lives. Bill, you've been way more than just a pastor to us. You've been a boss, a mentor, a counselor, at times a father figure, but most important of all, Bill, you were a true friend. 
You were there for so many of the important events and memories in our lives. You were there for our courtship. You were there for our premarital counseling. You even married us. You were there for our kids' baptisms. You were there for Caitlin's graduation. We went through three youth pastors together. And let's not forget about all that sushi together. Bill, you're the epitome of a good man with a good moral compass. Bill, your sermons were more than just words to us. They were a roadmap to live by. And you didn't just talk about it, you lived it. Bill, you've been our compass. You've been a dad, a counselor, our teacher, our friend. And like Patrick just said, you've been a living sermon for us to see. And because of that, you've left an indelible mark on our lives. And as you step upon this new adventure in life, may the road ahead be filled with fun projects, lots of laughs, and quiet Monday mornings. So Bill. Here's to you. May, may your retirement, retirement be as sweet. Be filled. <laughs> no, let's try again, babe. May your retirement ahead. You didn't see it. Keep going. Well, may your retirement, retirement ahead, ahead be as sweet as, as a jelly jar donut. donut. We love you. Love you, Bill. Bye. Hey, Bill. It's Jeff. You know, Maggie and I have been here for about 33 years. And the last 16 years, you've been here with us. I really appreciate your guidance in the Bridge Church, and I appreciate your friendship that you've given to us. Seems like yesterday that we were driving through the hills of Nashville, staying in hotels all the way, all the way through Elko to Reno, Nevada, that fateful Thursday night when you arrived. It was awesome. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate your time that you gave us. And Bill, this is not goodbye. This is just, hey, Good luck in your next adventure, and we will be a part of that. Hi folks, it has been such a joy to have done ministry with you, Bill, and the good people of the Bridge Church in Reno. If for no other reason <laughs> than I get to drive to Reno once a year and enjoy clean, cool air, unlike the yucky, polluted stuff we have down here in Fresno. But it's way more than just getting to enjoy clean, cool Reno air. In ministry, 
leaders of character are becoming few and far between. Uh, this is a damning report on the state of many of the churches in North America. But it's true. Leaders of integrity, of truthfulness, of honesty, of humbleness, of gentleness, of kindness are rare to find. And the Bridge Church, you had such a rare find in Pastor Bill. And not just Bill's character, but also his gifting. You know, the Apostle Paul told Titus, proclaim the word with all authority and let no one circumvent that. And pastors maybe are, above all things, preachers. And in Pastor Bill, you had a quality, gifted, anointed preacher. And Bill, you opened up the word, you made Christ known, and you preached the word in season and out of season. Thank you, Bill, for being true and steadfast in that. Uh, we've known each other, Bill, uh, since 2013, and then we headed to Kenya the next year together. And that was the first, I think, of three or four trips that you and I made there. And, and since then, we've had many meals together, we've had phone calls together, we've had thinking together. And it's been a delight to have had you within the growing healthy churches family. And a delight to have had you lead the Bridge Church to partner with When I Grow Up and our dear friends in Faraha Community Foundation in Haruma Slum, Kenya. And it's been a joy to count you as a friend, Bill. And I'm praying that interim church work will open up north and more churches will have the blessings of your wisdom, your experience and your teaching. So here's a thought, Bill, from me to you as we end our professional relationship as pastors together. The great leader Moses became immortal, not by living forever, uh, not by building a tomb and temple to his glory. We don't even know where Moses was buried. The only physical structure he left was portable because life itself is a journey. He didn't even become immortal the way that Aaron did by seeing his children become his successors. He became immortal by raising up many disciples. I know, Bill, you're not shooting for immortality. <laughs> we have that already in Christ. But to be a good pastor, a good leader, is writing your chapter in the story of Christ and calling people to follow Christ. Be his disciple. So take a look around, Bill. See the many followers of Christ who have become such or have become better at such due to you showing them the way. Thank you for being a disciple-making, faithful and true senior pastor. You will be greatly missed. Hey Bill, Mike Worm, and for those that don't know from the Boys and Girls Club of Truckee Meadows, I uh, hear that you're putting an end to this part of your career, moving on to the next chapter in your life, but just wanted to tell you how much we appreciate all the work we've done together. I've enjoyed uh, getting to know you over the years and love your passion for this community. I know when we first met, you talked about uh, you know your leadership here with the church, but you were clear that your goal was to make our community better, not just your church or your congregation. And boy, I know on our partnership and things you've done with the Boys and Girls Club, you've sure, sure held true to that. I love the work we did early on with the Easter egg hunt and how many people we exposed to that event, but then, you know, more recently and continuing today, the garden. And it's just amazing how uh, an idea and a piece of land and some, and some labor can have such a huge impact on a community. I know you've got, you know, people from the congregation that are involved. Uh, we both appreciate Rebecca and all the work she does in her leadership. But to think about taking this parcel of land when we first looked at it was kind of old and dilapidated playground equipment and just kind of doing nothing. And with your permission and support and, and help and energy, we've turned it into this amazing resource for this community. And we're, you know, we're educating kids every day on how to live a sustainable life. 
and we worked with the high school kids through the Boys and Girls Club and we're feeding people in this community and that just the impact of that initial idea and that synergy that came together to make that happen I mean it's going to affect and it is affecting people for years and years to come and you know I know there's so many accomplishments that that I'm not talking about that are going to be heard about today or heard from your congregation but just think that small idea that started and the impact that it's going to have for such a long time and you did that you you planted that seed that's what that's grown in today and and I know there's many many more seeds that you've sowed our community with so thank you for everything that you've done and uh, and it really hopefully you enjoy you and your family uh, to the next stage in your life so thank you for everything Hola Pastor Bill this is uh, Buki and Teresa from La Esperanza, Mexico. Thank you, Pastor Bill, for your prayers, for your support. Thank you so much for being an advocate for us and for our ministry in Mexico. It was such a blessing to have you come down to serve with us in Mexico. It was really special that, that you came and saw what we do. And we're just so thankful for all the hospitality you've shown us over the years on our visits to Reno. Uh, we wish you and Kim an amazing retirement. Uh, we pray that it would be blessed. Uh, may the Lord bless you for all of, uh, for your commitment to him, for all of your hard work uh, in serving the Lord and serving the people in your church and your community. God bless you both. God bless you guys. Dios les bendiga. Hey Bill, Phil told me I can't speak longer than 30 minutes, so I'll try to keep it under that. But seriously, uh, just a couple minutes would never be enough to let you know how great of an impact you've made in my life and in the lives of the people here in the church. I can remember the first time we met. It was uh, in the summer over at Walden's, and you saw something in me that I didn't see. You saw something that you hoped would... Uh, stick around and, and you could develop. And that first month you were here, I was so beaten up and weary, I thought I was gonna quit. But working with you made me see that God was at work here. God had brought you here for a reason. And I could see God working through you. Now you and I know God gets all the glory for this, but you were faithful. You were humble. You served like nobody I'd ever seen in my life. And you believed in me. Bill, you taught me what it means to be a man, what it means to be a husband, what it means to be a follower of Christ. And that's how God has used you. And this church, this church when you first arrived, I wasn't sure it was going to make it. And yet I saw God work through you and work miracles in the hearts of people all around. And as much as you've changed my life, think of the hundreds, thousands of people you've interacted with here in Reno. And each of them have been touched in some very very deep way because of your faithfulness. Bill, I, I could go on and on, but I just want to tell you, on behalf of myself, and I'm going to be bold and say for everybody here at the bridge, well done, good and faithful servant. I'm going to miss you. <laughs>